four. And Michigan, along with Steve Fisher, won the national championship here. They return to take on George Washington. There's the starting lineups. Hammond, Tommen, Garre, Searles, and Pearsall for George Washington, 21 and eight on the year. Weber, Jackson, Howard, Rose, King, the Super Softs from Michigan. 28 and four. Comes more of a psychological event for the first five or six minutes of the game than a physical event. And I think the real key here for Mike Jarvis and his club is to stay in the game as long as they can to go ahead and then settle down and be able to turn it into a physical match for that young man right there, Yinka Dare. Better than the University of Michigan. And there was a good example. If you get the ball in the low post on a GW team, you better look to either put it up right away or get it back out in a hurry because they will double on you. Straight man to man, both clubs, and look at Dare and Weber going after each other. And I think Weber's enjoying it. Weber outside now. He'll take the three point shot. Ray, when he's been cutting through the lane so far. Now, and watch as soon as he touches it, here comes the double from the weak side for a young man who does not have the experience. This will be a tough adjustment. Better matchup now for GW with Moses on Rose. Bring him on, Howard. Dare will pick up his first. It's a cheap one. If you want the big man to foul, you'd like for him to foul down and low, not trying to take the ball away from Weber 18 feet from the basket. Howard, in fact, tipped it to Rose. Good outlet to King, but he'll pull up. Michigan getting great movement on the break with their big people. Weber underneath. Michigan playing. Stanford was the only undefeated team in NCAA history until three years ago. There's Dare getting a turnaround jumper. He's got to learn to make his move quicker with that double team coming on him. Look how quickly Michigan's been pushing it up the floor. Rose with a three. Well, I don't think it's nerves as much. I think it's just the inexperience of not really knowing what to do when. Mike Jarvis put it very well. He said, in who coached Patrick Ewing in high school, he's like, he said he's like Ewing was as a junior in college. But in regard to playing ability, like Ewing was as a junior in high school, and I don't think it could be said any better by a man that should really know. Weber ripped that rebound right out of Dare's hands and put it back. Third all got stuck. Great defense by Michigan. So Dare will get uh, even an extra blow. A timeout called by George Washington. Michigan manhandling the Colonials early. Holland. Oh, good strip. Jones on the strip. They have the numbers on the wing. Searles will pull up for it off the glass, and suddenly they're within seven. It was 15-2, now 17-10, Michigan. Jim, beautiful catch, and he faked off the catch. They've changed the, the entire complexion of the game by changing their defensive strategy. Going full court. And they're doing this with Dare on the bench. He has not been a factor in this game. One rebound and one foul for Yinka Dare, the freshman. It's strictly a wrist shot. Well, he hit the front end of the one and one. Yinka Dare returns for Antoine Hart. And let's see if the young man can get into the game a little bit. One rebound, one foul on Dare. The only numbers for a seven foot one freshman. He's had some monster games this year against Temple, particularly. 20 and 8 in one game, 20 and 17 in the other. Passing. King gives it up to Howard last minute. Dare. Slammed that ball to the he floor, really but did. a foul first called against George Washington. Now here we can see Michigan had what they thought so many guys open. Jimmy King realized last minute he had to give the ball up to Juwan Howard, and there was Dare going and smacking it away. And you can see that the contact made by the defender, if he'd have just held his ground, he'd have picked up the foul. That was a spike by Dare. The foul, by the way, goes on Hammonds, his first. And the ninth team foul. Dare, the number one shot blocker in the Atlantic 10 this year, and the number one rebounder in the league, freshman of the year in the league. And some people think maybe the top freshman in the country. I Sports go Illustrated said so. Well, I wouldn't go along with that one. I think he had a, an outstanding year, but that's a strong statement. Looks like Little, about 10 feet away, kind of a shot put move. A nice job by Sony, too, even though he made the shot to come back and get ready for defense. Oh, they got Dare for a second. And I repeat, George Washington doing most of its damage without Dare. Steve Fisher was concerned about the effects of Ginka Dare coming into this game. But Dare, one rebound, no points. So far in, the, in this ball game, and we had two entirely different halves. Let's take a look at it real quickly. 
what happened in the beginning is you can see 0 for 10. They tried to go inside the Dare, nothing there, or threes, nothing there. 0 for 10, the first 10 shots. Then all of a sudden, Dare goes out of the game. Look at the great distribution now of shooting. Outside as well as inside, 12 for 27 after that. And that might have uh, voted not too well for Michigan the rest of the way. That dunk and the follow-up look and glare what came at the 17 to 6 mark. And Daré pulls down a rebound. Tries to get Daré involved in the game at all offensively. So far, they're just using him to kind of like wander around. And here he's got the position. He's going to get double teamed. Makes a nice, nice move on the baseline, but they say that, oh, uh -oh. Weber thought he was going to be called for traveling. Instead, the foul against Weber. Now, that may give the young man some confidence because he was double teamed. Juwan Howard was late getting there. Now, watch Howard's going to come over. DeRay feels it, uses his hand just a little bit. Weber tried to force him out with his hip. Pretty good-looking move, Billy. Yes, it is. Very good-looking move. We're talking about a young man that's going to get so much better so quickly. I don't compare him to Ewing. I compare him to Akeem Olajuwon. Ray now being more active looking for the ball. Nice turnaround hook. Went up high in the air with a tip oh. in by Dirk Searles. Great tap. Six foot three senior. Remember early in the game where that mismatch really worked in the favor of Michigan. Dare getting much more active, Jim. And belongs to GW. Good shot. Baseliner and now the yep. three. Michigan leading 41-37. 15-50 to go. Oh, yes, a great way by Dare. Two of nine to start this half. Jarvis's crew. Look at the block, the spike by Dare. Now watch, see, he is actually one man behind on the play because he was guarding Weber and still got over there for the block. Nice timing. And they played, in fact, in the tournament on the same day that you did. That's right. They played in uh, Cincinnati wins their game. I'm going to tell you an interesting thing about that. He just see Chris Weber trying to get something off. Dare does a nice job on him. Didn't get in. You know, in those years, there were not enough teams. On wild shot. Howard with a rebound. That's a 45 team. I mean, in 1945. You said three. Weber, dunk time. Basket by Chris Weber. Selection in the last few minutes by George Washington has been dubious. It had hurt him, and of course, Dore was getting some confidence. They just started to go back to him. Oh, he walked up and down with it. Here we see Weber so quick on the inside, those powerful hands. Great finisher. Excellent feed by Jackson as well, Jim, on the perfect side. Dare, of course, and not having a big offensive game. Here's that lob I thought they'd use earlier. Dare. Ah, and one. By Jones in the putback. But, Jim, what happened there is on the lob, you can see how many teams have been able to lob the ball over Chris Weber to a player. Dare kept that ball alive by not getting it blocked. Making it available for Jones in the putback. And a three-point lead. 53-50. Number 12. Right away, there's a shot you don't want to take. Boy, Hammond is so far off the market. He was four or five feet out. Exactly. Of the three-point line. I think now you want to go down inside to Howard. There go down is. inside. Oh, dipped out. Go down inside to Weber. Get some good shots. R.A. with his fourth rebound, Billy. Now, no, Evans. Evans. Quick. Too quick on the shots. They have a one-point lead. They fire up a couple of threes. Now Michigan to take back the lead. King from the corner. They got it. Let's see the let's see the contact. Right there. George Washington foul number 12. Now, Evans if a man, he third. doesn't have to actually be in the process of releasing it. The shot, the shot has to have started. Now there it starts. Call it on I'll Evans, what, number 12. I'm going along with huge ball. Not get free throws to go. Dare oh, has it taken away. Weber. Jimmy King. And there the ex Chris inexperience Weber. of Dare not realizing that the guard was behind him. But he'll learn. Oh. Evans back to Dare. Can he handle it? Nice away. Howard on the floor. Michigan basketball. Oh, that was a walk. Weber jumped walk. up and down in the sure. air, and he's called for the George. traveling violation. Now, Weber has got to understand that the possession is more important than making the big play here. 
Here we see the steal. See, Doré did not sense that King was behind him. That'll take time, and there's a good pump fake by Chris Weber. This game in. Withers misses at the horn. Michigan into the Elite Eight, winning tonight by eight. Inkadare did not score a single point.